Silence. <laughs> Only silence. The creek trickles, hairs of a bow vibrating on the rock. The looming roughness of the cliff above glows between gaps in the leaves. Silence and a chime, warm and embodied, three notes playfully repeating. My gasp rises. So silent in swiftness, it lands on a log. Feathers ruffle, darting beak preens. Yellow eyes glint from a black stripe. Another lands, then another. The fur shoots up to the leaves. Silence, moisture, translucent canopy. I wait again for song. Twisting boughs of shadows against a grey and misty sky. The ground is bleached and naked. Except for splintered leaves, twigs like bones raked from the furnace, the tufts of burnt grass crunch under my boots. Still the tree stands, a husk, its pitted, furrowed trunk crumbles when I touch it. Black, just blackness, and whitened hash underfoot. A thriving canopy. Model trunks oozing with moss, tangled with fern fronds and shrubs, all wither as the air is sucked away and blown back in a scorching bellow as the whirlpool takes hold, shattering and flashing, boiling sap bursts, leaves budding and opening in years of slow sunlight crackle and explode. In a moment, a roar of blinding orange scowls and leaps high, hurling up particles of ash which seethe and gather into choking pools of smoke, blocking out the sun to make a smouldering dusk of midday. A stinking remnant of the forest life blows round the country, round the world.